Hi ladies, welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Um, if you notice my hair is a little bit darker today. I did color it uh, to a lot, a little bit of a darker brown. I had it into more of a, or like a red color and so it started kind of fading. It wasn't looking very pretty so I kind of colored it a little bit darker. It's probably one of my husband's favorite is when I go a little bit darker. So um, today I actually wanted to talk about um, uh, something that I've noticed um, on social media um, and I've watched a lot of uh, YouTubers um, that are actually uh, beauty bloggers that have a struggle with that. Um, a lot of people are being very negative and um, it's uh, about saying that you are wearing way too much makeup. Um, now don't get me wrong, I do believe that there are some people that wear too much makeup um, they feel like they have a need to do that every single day. Um, however, you know, if they are a public persona, like, you know, in Hollywood, um, I can't really despise them for that. I can't really say that they are wearing too much makeup because it's, it's who they are. So they have to put on, you know, a best friend when it comes to being out in public. Um, a lot of them don't want to come out without wearing any kind of makeup because then, you know, they're going to get a bunch of publicity and a lot of uh, paparazzi chasing them after, oh, look at them without makeup and stuff like that. So I do believe that people that do have to wear uh, makeup for certain occasions like runway shows um, and performances. So that's not something that I'm talking about. I'm talking about like day-to-day uh, wear for people whenever they just have to, they just feel like they have to like put falsies on every single day. Um, they have to get their eyes done every single day and put a lot of foundation, um, which I mean, that's fine. If that is something that is your passion, that is something that you love to do. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, honestly, I know firsthand what it's like to receive negative comments. I started wearing makeup when I was about 16 years old and if you've watched my skincare video, um, you know that I've struggled with acne and my face just started getting really red. I was getting like breakouts and they were so deep. It wasn't like, you know, superficial breakouts that you could just extract and that's it, you're good to go. It was very deep, it took a long time for them to come up um, and a lot of times I would pick at them which in that it created a lot of scars that I actually still have um, and a lot of people came up and told me those things because I think you know 10 years ago then it was like you know when you wore makeup people were like oh you're just don't want to you're scared for people to see who you really are and you're trying to look different and stuff like that. But that's really not the reason why I started wearing makeup. The reason I started wearing makeup was because I was just so embarrassed to show people uh, my skin and just, I had so much issues. Um, and so today I really just wanted to let you know, ladies, um, you know, before you say something to somebody, just be careful because you don't know what they're going through, the stuff that they are covering up. You know, they could, they can have some kind of a skin disease. They can have some kind of a skin disorder and they don't feel comfortable in showing that to people. And therefore, that's why they wear a certain type of makeup. Um, you know, just like me, who I, want, I wanted to cover up the redness. I was just so embarrassed. I didn't want to leave without it. And I know it was hormonal issues, so it wasn't the products that I was wearing, even though, you know, I had to learn throughout the years what products work for me and which ones don't. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you not to be mean to one another. Um, you know, be secure in who you, who you are. Uh, if you do have a relationship with somebody, if you have a best friend, um, you know, if you have a certain kind of a relationship that you are able to come up to them and ask them why they're wearing so much makeup, you know, instead of talking behind their back or commenting on social media and not really coming in, it, it, you know, before their face and actually saying that because what I've learned is a lot of people don't have a problem saying that on social media or typing that in text, but when it comes to actually confronting somebody that have a major problem, they don't even, they can't even say those words um, because um, I feel like they think to themselves that it actually sounds pretty ridiculous and they can't back themselves up and it's something that they're insecure with themselves. And what I've learned throughout the years is that women can be very mean to one another, you know. Um, but I know that, you know, you are created specifically and uniquely designed and 
Um, you know, we all have our struggles, we all have our issues, um, and we all, you know, have a, a beautiful side to us, and there is a person for us that will love us for who we are. But I think as women, we need to stop um, hating on one another, and just because you're not allowed to wear makeup or you just don't feel the need to wear makeup doesn't mean that you have to um, talk about somebody else and what they are doing because you never know what season of life they may be in. You know, I've struggled and so I know exactly how it feels to receive those kind of comments. Um, you know, it's like coming up to somebody and saying, oh, you're fat um, and you don't even have that kind of relationship to you know, with them, for them to be able to, to say that kind of a horrific thing, and they don't know if you have health issues, or if you've, uh, you know, struggled with some, uh, some um, eating disorder, like I have when I was a teenager, and so it was very painful to, to hear that, um, and I know those things make us stronger, However, we as women, I think we should learn and be better and we should um, uplift one another. And um, the best way that you can um, actually tell somebody something that they may be doing wrong or incorrectly is just being an example and loving them through it. Um, and there will be a day when they will, you know, wake up and say, wow, I can't believe that I've done this and you've stuck with me and, um, you know, you didn't judge me, but love me for who I am. And they're going to love you for it. And you're going to have a stronger relationship and a stronger bond with him like never before. So today's wisdom tip um, of the day uh, for you guys is just to be kind of to one another. Don't say uh, negative things to one another out of just ignorance, out of your feelings or emotions, um, because you never know what that person is going through. Pray for them, love them, encourage them, um, inspire them by being a good example, and just work on yourself, because there's plenty of things that you can work on yourself before you start telling other people what to do. Um, I think a lot of times when we turn our attention to ourselves, we start seeing so many other things that we can work on that um, it would be embarrassing to actually turn our eyes to our neighbor and say, you got to fix this. So a lot of times when people do set their mind uh, on somebody else and are judging them or being negative about them, it's usually a just a sign that they are not looking into themselves or they have you know, certain insecurities about themselves. And just like you would, you know, you heard a saying called hurt people, hurt people. And that's exactly what happens is those insecurities come out and they reflect and they just project and people say things to um, other people and hurt them. So I just encourage you, be kind to one another. Um, God has created us for unity, um, despite our differences, despite our unique um, gifts and talents um, that we have. Just be kind to one another and uh, allow God's love to radiate from you. Um, as always, create culture and be you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also comment below and let me know what other subjects that you guys wanted me to talk about um, and we will we'll be sure to cover those subjects. Um, love you guys. Until next time. Bye.